Hi, welcome to Fusion Beads. Today I'm going to show you how to create our Give a Dog a Bone bracelet. This bracelet is originally designed by Tracy Gonzalez of TierraCast, and it's made using these super cute little dog themed charms from their Spot and Whiskers collection. It's paired with barrel beads, this really cute little paw print button, and leather cord for a pop of color. To make this bracelet, you're going to need two of these 3mm faceted large hole he she spacer beads by TierraCast, seven of these 7mm large hole barrel beads by TierraCast, one paw print button by TierraCast, and then one doghouse, bone, spot dog, paw print, and love my dog charms by TierraCast, four of these 6mm 18 gauge open jump rings, 24 inches of 1.5 millimeter turquoise round leather cord, your chain nose pliers, nylon jaw pliers, scissors, and a tape measure. You can find all of the product links in the description below. Okay, let's get started. To make this give a dog a bone bracelet, you first wanna add the jump rings to your charms here. So to do that, you just wanna pick up a jump ring and take your chain nose pliers the right side towards you, the left side away from you. Open that up and just attach the top loop of your charm. And then just bring those ends back together. You're gonna hear like a little snap. You know it's back in place. I'm just gonna do that. Three more. Okay, just one more. Okay, and then this charm here doesn't need a jump ring because you can see that the hole is already going the right direction. Okay, so then once we have those done, you want to take your length of cord and then your button, and you just want to string your button and then bring your button to the center. So just hold those two ends, slide that button to the center of your cord. So both of these ends here will be the same length. Okay, and then you just want to take a barrel bead and put both ends through the bead. And then bring that down to the button. And you want to leave a little bit of wiggle room and take your nylon jaw pliers and we're just going to crimp this barrel bead. Okay, and that's going to stay in place just like that. We're going to do that one more time. And we want to be about three quarters of an inch apart. So we want it to be about right here. So we're going to take another barrel bead. Bring it down. Just measure that. Okay. You can just hold your thumb there in place. So you know where it's supposed to stay. Again, take your nylon gel pliers. Just give it a good squeeze. Okay. And now here on this bottom row, this bottom cord, you want to string 
on your doghouse charm. Just bring that down. Then we're going to grab another barrel bead. Put both the cordons through, bring it down. Okay, and again, just want through about three quarters of an inch. Hold that in place, then crimp that down. Okay, and then you can see that charm. It's just going to be stuck in between those two barrel beads, right like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and repeat. That same thing, let's put a barrel bead here, and now I'm going to string the spot dog charm, then the bone charm, then the I love my dog charm, and then the paw print charm with barrel beads in between, just like I did here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I will be right back. Okay, so now you can see that I've added all of my charms with those barrel beads in between. Then I ended on a barrel bead, and they're all about three fourths of an inch apart. So now at this point I just want to add the loop for the other end for the button to go through for the closure. So to do that I know I want my bracelet about seven and a half inches. You could just take your tape measure. So it's about right here. You can just kind of Hold that with your thumb because you know that's where you're going to want your knot for or your loop for this end. So to make your loop, okay, you just want to make it big enough for the button to go through. Okay, and then you want to bring your cord around and leave a little space there and you're going to bring the tail and go back down through it. And pull tight. You have your knot, and you can just make sure the button goes through it pretty easily, but you don't want it to be too big so it'll slip out. Okay, so that's the perfect size there. And if you want, you can always add a little dab of glue on your knot for a little extra security. And now we want to just add two little beads the ends here. Okay, so about half an inch or so down, we want to make a knot. Okay, and just pull tight. That got to stay on there like that. Then do that for the other side. Put the bead on and just make a little knot. Then pull tight. Okay, then you just want to take your scissors. And trim those ends, leaving a little bit of cord left after the knot. Okay, 
There you go. The button will just fit right through perfectly like that. Now you have a super cute bracelet, perfect for anyone. Now you have a super cute bracelet, perfect for anyone who loves dogs. You can find all of the tools and materials for this Give a Dog a Bone bracelet at FusionBeads.com.